It's the kind of beat to go Hey guys, what's up? It's Joey, and today we're here with the Survivors, my favorite, of course. And we gotta stick with the Survivors. Uh, today I've got my Boston hat on that I got at a game. It's a little big. There used to be popcorn in it, but now it's a hat. It's legit. But that's what we got going today. Um, got some Survivors gameplay. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of mess around. Still working on getting my squad up to 20. Trying to get everybody up to 20 before the update comes. I don't know if it's gonna be possible. I'm gonna try my best. Right now I have three of my guys at level 20. Fire Chief's on his way. He needs two more upgrades. Then he will be at the next level. And then I'm going to try to get my snipers up. And then, I mean, that's pretty much my main squad. And I'm just going to just kind of work on getting everybody else up. See how far I can get them up, of course. But uh, I've been doing a lot of my farming on Mexico City. I haven't been really looking too hard on other possibilities for farming. Like right here, I'll get an even 300, so I might just try this one out for this time, maybe do it three or four times and try to search for another good place. But I'm trying to get at least 300 cans added to my total count before I uh, move on. 300 per, per raid. But I'm just going to use all my level 20 troops, give them all a shot. I just got my commando up to 20 because I just want to see what she would do at level 20. So I feel like she'd just wreck and completely dominate at that level. And I'm going to give my surgeon a try. I've been... Growing attached to her. She's getting better. But expert on Lima. La Sustancia Gris. I think. I don't really know what that says on there. But it is cool. So here we are. This is where we are. We have my commando. She sprays and prays. She's legit. Fire Chief. The tank of the group. He's just going to stand there take damage do his best. Mer uh, machine Gunner. Total beast. He just sprays like crazy and pretty much just mows down any drones in his path. Plus, anybody else, they don't really stand a chance, except for Titans. But since my guy's such a high level, they don't stand a chance. Another kind of a sprayer, hits, trying to hit multiple drones at once, is my mercenary sniper, precision accuracy, a sharpshooter, more hard damage. Then I got the spec ops. He's pretty much just like a ninja hiding in the shadows. Nobody sees him. My surgeon brings back my troops back to life. Then he got another commando, just close quarters, spraying. It's good stuff. So based on what I'm seeing right now, we have a lot of biohazards and runners. Personally, not a fan of biohazards because they're just going to wipe out the pretty much certain troop composition I have. But what I can do is I can try to knock them out right out of the gate. So what I'm actually going to do, do I not have a machine gunner? I do. I'm going to throw one machine gunner back here, two mercenaries right on the gut. And I'm hoping that they're going to be able to take out all those guys right out of the gate. Probably won't have, hopefully won't have any problems. Now back here, uh, so pretty much the same thing I'm going to have. I'm going to have my one uh, super cool machine gunner back there. I'm going to have two sharpshooters and two spec ops. And we're just going to hold down the fort back here. I'm going to move them back just a bit because those biohazards, if they do get close, it's going to spell trouble for these guys. They're going to be knocked out pretty fast. So hopefully this will... You solid composition. Let's start the waves. Speed it up. There I go. So runners handled. So far so good. Got the machine gunner spinning up over here. And it's pretty much got this pad locked down. Over here on the other hand. It's a little congested. Gotta be honest. But as you can see. Guys are just mowing down these drones. Getting a little. They're inching their way closer to the uh, wall slowly. But they don't stand a chance. I'm going to actually stem this group up and go head back over here. So pretty much once this machine gunner gets spinned up over here, it's easy pickings from here on out. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I love it. Hopefully we'll be adding some more challenging levels in the future with this next update. I'm really excited for it. It's going to be a lot of awesome stuff. So right off the bat, Mazdaf Cocktail. Let's take out anybody that comes through there. Hopefully we'll be able to grab the biohazard, but we don't get a chance to. So now it's pretty much down to this last group right here. Mowing down this last group, no, but like nobody's business whatsoever. Machine gunner's just going to town right now, guys. He's being a beast. I love it. That's just how you roll. That's what we do. So, boom. So, guys, uh, if you guys haven't been watching Proletariat's live streams, which are amazing, I definitely check them out. I think it's like twitch.tv slash proletariat underscore inc, something like that. Definitely go check them out. Uh, but 
there's been a lot of really big new update announcements. Like they're pretty much revamping a ton of the UI. A lot of the new things that you're gonna see, like for instance, see these crash planes, they're gonna be revamping these areas completely. They're gonna have it redesigned, new images, they're gonna have a pretty much different way you handle it where you can come back during the day and collect your resources. And it's just gonna be really cool. Um new way you're gonna handle your units. Um now say you get because for me personally, as you guys see, um I run out of a lot of space because I'll hit 100 and I don't want to use my cans and I'm pretty much just going to have to like consume them if I don't want to upgrade. So I mean I'll just fill up my guys. I'll kind of go like this. I'll just like do all this and then push consume so it doesn't cost me any cans. But then I fill up all my troops and I can't get rid of any more without using cans. So in this next update they're going to make it so you can pretty much just consume your troops alone and you'll get cans for them. So that way you're not running over 100. And you're pretty much not losing cans that you save up for. So it's going to be an amazing update. There's so much more. UI looks amazing. They're going to have it so you're pretty much your squad, your main group, your main crew is just going to be sprawled out across the screen looking fine in HD. It's going to be amazing. I'm really excited for it. Um, hopefully I'll be able to try, maybe I'll try to get a chance to show you guys some of the pre future things. Also got, uh, Aftershock sadly going away. We're getting Dr. Zombowitz, uh, Destructor is kind of getting revamped with Dr. Uh, Captain Zeta. Maybe I'll be able to get a chance to show you guys some of that. But for now, back to the survivors. Kind of continuing our quest to upgrade the Fire Chief. Now, I'm going to actually go ahead and consume a lot of these people. Let's just consume as many as we can without upgrading. Consume. Actually, let's see how much it's going to cost us. 1,026 cans. 1,026 cans. So I say we get two more tacks in, upgrade that fire chase to level 19, continue on our way. So we just attacked Lima, and I'm thinking we attack a little different place. Let's see, Cairo. Uh, not really calling my name. Istanbul, we're getting exactly 300. Moscow, how many we're getting? We're getting just about 315, so I'm just going to give that one a shot. So I like my squad I had last time. I'm going to change my borrowed unit to... Gotta go level 20 machine gun. That's a must. It is a must. So, still repping that Boston. Red Sox. Pretty legit. Alright, so right here we got a lot of runners. Uh, sadly we got some delivery men. Those are rough. And some foremen. But I think we can definitely handle this without a problem. So I'm gonna move this pad over here. Drop two machine gunners. And let's just drop three mercs right here. And call it a day. Boom. I think that place is gonna be pretty set. Alright, so we're going to have two machine gunners right here. Let's move these in. Eh, move them back just a tad. See if I can get this guy over in the corner. Got him right on the edge. Let's throw my new level 20 commandos right over here. Okay, I'm going to get some snipers in here because I want them to snipe those uh, any runners or anything like coming in really quick. Because that will bug me. It'll annoy me. So I'm going to throw down some fire chiefs here. Get a merc down. And hopefully I'll be able to actually, maybe I'll be able to get a chance to use my surgeon over here. That would actually be really fun. I would be happy about that. Uh, so down to the spec ops here and there. And let's start the waves. So right now we're pretty set. Uh, over here is the pad that I'm going to be worried about more because I'm worried about losing troops. Because it's pretty close quarters area right here. But over here as well, it's going to be tough. So let's stim up these newly upgraded commandos. They're just going to town right there. So, so far, handling everything really well. Runners, the, uh, Daredevils, I believe, actually. Those might be Daredevils, and Daredevils are pretty swaggy. Alright, so Commandos are pretty much just holding down the fort here by themselves. With a little help from the Snipers, of course, but still, they're just pretty much going to town here. But ba boom The stem is looking good. Oh, another thing, they're going to have, like, kind of a skill tree to the, um, skills up here, so you're going to be able to upgrade the time they last, maybe refresh time, stuff like that. It's going to be really nice. Uh, I just remembered something, but it went away. Worst feeling in the world when you just kind of like randomly like just forget what you're going to say. But guys are pretty much just getting locked down here. No chance at all. It's a win. What was it that I was going to say? Oh, yeah. Uh, a lot of the campaign stories is changing a lot. Like the tutorial, the way that's going to be run. It's going to be changed a lot where they're going to introduce you to all the skills Kind of like in a chronological or I mean not chronological, but in a they're gonna introduce them to you slowly. Like you're gonna get Stimzy first, give you a background on that story. Then they're gonna give you the flair. Then you're gonna get the Molotov cocktail. There's gonna be a little outpost for them. It's gonna be really cool. 
Okay, so we were just at Moscow, I believe. Let's just autofill it, see what we get. Take it, run with it. Bring definitely bring in the Desperado. One more attack in on Moscow, and we're gonna hit up the upgrade. We're gonna upgrade that fire chief. I'm pumped for that. Alright, so right here we're gonna put a sniper, a sniper, and a machine gunner. And a machine gunner. And then Desperados, where do you want to go? You can go all right there. Move them right on over here. And you know what? I'm going to add a Merc just to tie in all that. Ah, oh, don't have my Surgeon. I would have stacked that pad big time. Because right now I'm 5. I could probably possibly double it if eh, possible. I don't know. All right, so right here we're going to be in a little different situation. I'll slow down some of these guys. Three Mercs right here. Move them down a little bit. So they're going to be completely focused on that pad alone. And I don't know. This is going to be close. Now I'm just going to throw one Spec Ops back here just in case. Kind of like a, just a precaution. Let's start these waves and hope for the best. Cross your fingers, everybody. Got to hope for the best right now. So Machine Gunner's going to town. That Machine Gunner barely made it. Oh, did you see that? This guy barely clutched that out. He barely made it alive. So I'm actually going to throw two Commandos down and bring these guys a little bit closer. There we go. So, so far so good. Pretty much just rocking and rolling. So I got my mercs up here to pretty much just, pretty much, since this is a pretty heavy runner and just, um, delivery men heavy level, I'm using the mercenaries to take out any of the drones because since they're such a high level, they're able to just pretty much take out all those drones. And I got my snipers in the back to help ta take out any of those mutated zombies like the, um, delivery men, brutes, runners. Because that's just going to help thin them out. Then they won't get close to the mercenaries. They won't be able to take them out. It just makes it easier for me. So, so far we're doing pretty good. Nope, you're not allowed to get there. Mm -mm. Get back, please. Thank you. And looks like they got past my little Desperado group right there. So, sadly, we're going to have to reorganize a little bit. That's not fun. But it looks like we're pretty much handling it pretty well. The commandos go into town. Let's stim up this group. Hopefully finish it off real quick. Just got a couple drones left. Didn't touch the hospital. Clutch it out. I love it. Three stars. Turn up. Let's flip that card. Firefighter. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And we have 1,400. About almost 1,500. Extra cans. So let's upgrade the fire chief. Level up. Confirm. And we are one away from level 20. Mm, I love it. We are just about there. We have about one, two, three, four. We'll have four level 20s in our crew soon enough. But guys, that's pretty much it for this episode. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little walkthrough with the survivors, information on the new update, and just had fun watching some of the gameplay. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.